Israel is a country in West Asia, a country that has quite a lot of conflicts with neighboring countries, perhaps due to its complex geopolitical position that has created disputes over territory, religion, etc. religion in history. In which conflicts with Muslim countries, organizations and radical Islamic resistance militia movements such as Hamas, PLO, Hezbollah, Lebanon. Many conflicts have taken place, weapons in response are often bombs, missiles, rockets, artillery shells, UAVs, causing civilian casualties on both sides or destruction of homes and facilities. In May 2021 it was estimated that Palestinian militant groups had an arsenal of about 30,000 rockets and mortar bombs in Gaza, potential targets, when fired, for Iron Dome. Range varies widely, and guidance systems are lacking, but accuracy has improved over the years. There are estimates of the numbers and types of rockets, and their range and payload. To enhance defenses, in response to threats against civilians, along the northern and southern borders of Israel, the state defense company, Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, has developed a defense system. New generation missile defense, capable of successfully intercepting rockets or missiles launched from the enemy side. This system is named Iron Dome, with the meaning of a shield, protecting Israel's airspace. After years of research and development, in April 2011, the Iron Dome system was put to the test for the first time in real combat, and it showed remarkable effectiveness, preventing multiple attacks by rockets and shells from across the border. According to the Israeli Defense Ministry, since being put into use, the Iron Dome system has intercepted most rocket and mortar attacks of the enemy, with an interception efficiency of 75%. Up to 90%. The system is designed to counter short-range rockets and 155mm artillery shells with a range of up to 70 kilometers, 43 miles. According to its manufacturer, Iron Dome will operate day and night, under adverse weather conditions, and can respond to multiple threats simultaneously. The Iron Dome system is staffed by batteries, a radar unit. A battery consists of three components, a fire control center and several launchers. The system's radar is referred to as EL-M 2084. It detects the rocket's launch and tracks its trajectory. The BMC calculates the impact point according to the reported data, and uses this information to determine whether the target constitutes a threat to a designated area. Only when that threat is determined, an interceptor missile is fired to destroy the incoming rocket before it reaches the predicted impact area. Iron Dome uses a variety of sensors to detect upcoming threats. These include advanced radar, camera systems, and other sensors that help determine and track the trajectory of a missile or shell. The ELM 2084 MMR detects incoming targets and provides mid-course guidance for the Tamir interceptor. It is a 3D active electronically scanned array AESA, that operates in the S-band frequency. According to the radar's manufacturer, the ELM-2084 has a target capacity of up to 1,100 targets for air surveillance purposes. The ELM-2084 also serves as the fire control radar for the Israeli David Sling Missile Defense System. Fire Control Center serves as the command center for the Iron Dome system. It takes input from sensors and makes a decision in real time to decide whether to stop the incoming threat. Different from the conventional air defense system, located in the same combat position. As for Iron Dome, it is built to deploy in a distributed model. Each launcher, containing 20 interceptors, is independently deployed and operated remotely via a secure wireless connection. The Iron Dome battery includes three to four launchers, a battle management system, and a fire control radar. Each launcher can hold up to 20 Tamir interceptors. As of 2012-2013, a complete battery costs approximately $100 million to produce point one each Iron Dome battery can defend an area of up to 150 square kilometers against short-range missiles, mortars, and rockets.
To conserve interceptors, the Iron Dome system can discern between rockets that threaten population areas and those that will fall harmlessly in open terrain. Iron Dome can detect and engage targets at ranges of up to 70 km. The system's Tamir interceptor is 3 meters long, 0.16 m in diameter, and weighs 90 kg at launch. The warhead alone weighs 11 kg. It has a top speed of Mach 2.2, 700 meters per second. It uses a command data link and onboard active radar seeker for guidance and uses a high explosive blast fragmentation warhead to destroy targets. The Tamir interceptor was initially estimated to cost $100,000 to produce, but recent estimates assert unit costs of roughly $40,000 to $50,000 each. Besides being effective in interception, the Iron Dome system has some limitations. High cost. An Iron Dome system costs about 50 million US dollars, the Tamir missile alone costs 50,000 US dollars. For a higher probability of destruction, two interceptors, spaced a short time apart, can take turns firing at the same target. While the rockets made by Hamas, only cost 500 to 600 US dollars slash rocket. Over the 10-year period of operation, the United States has contributed a total of $1.6 billion to the Iron Dome defense system, with another $1 billion passed by the US Congress in 2022. Currently, Israel has about 10 Iron Dome batteries, deployed across the country, each battery has from 3 to 4 launchers. Realizing the effectiveness of the Iron Dome system, when operating on land, the Israeli military is planning and deploying Iron Dome batteries at sea to protect offshore gas and oil rigs, working together with Israel's Barak-8 missile system. Mistakes Much of Iron Dome's operations are automated, to shorten response times, and reduce operator manpower requirements. However, this has led to unintended incidents, including the case of 10 interceptor missiles, which were fired later, when the system mistook Hamas machine gunfire for a rocket launch. 2018. During the war in 2021, the Iron Dome system shot down a team UAV, in May 2021. Iron Dome mistakenly shot at an F-15 of the Israeli Air Force, although the crew had already issued the order. Destroyed the ammunition, but shrapnel from the missile, still damaged the aircraft. The attack of the Swarm, a full Iron Dome battery has about 60 to 80 Tamir rounds, making the total number of Israeli interceptors no more than 1,200. The Hamas movement has found a way to neutralize the Iron Dome, by launching hundreds of rockets at a single target, making it impossible to intercept. Another shortcoming in exporting the Iron Dome system is that most of the potential markets are large countries, while each Iron Dome system can only protect a small area. More than 100 to 150 square kilometers. It can be said that the Iron Dome system is an innovative and effective design by Israeli military engineers. It has become an iconic, iconic feature of Israel that represents the growth in the nation's defense industry. Although the operating costs are quite high, for Israel people's lives are a top priority. Thanks to the Iron Dome system, when the conflict broke out, the injury rate of the people was significantly reduced, the housing works and facilities were protected to the maximum. With its interception capabilities, the US has considered providing Ukraine with several systems to deal with Russian missiles and artillery.